One of the most important things in the world to understand right now is that prices are not going up. It is the value of your money going down. The more money and debt spent by the federal government and the more money and debt that is created out of thin air by the privately owned Federal Reserve, the less value your dollars have. You're in charge. You're in charge of this thing called the United States government slash budget, and it gives you political and fiscal authority to do, quote unquote, the right thing. Yeah. Would you mark to market balance sheets today and create the economic downside that that would follow? Or would you put in place or attempt to put in place some kind of economic policies to get you to a better place down some theoretical road? I mean, how do you solve a problem where you're spending 10% of, you know, you're running a 10% fiscal deficit? You're not going to get growth in the absence of private sector credit demand. So the government's idea right now is we're going to export our way out of this. And yeah. when I asked a senior member of the Obama administration last week, how are we going to grow exports if we won't allow nominal wage deflation? And he says, we're just going to kill the dollar. And I said, OK, more you mean. Um, so that, I mean, that's the only answer. And you, it, that's a dead answer. If, it's a dead answer, but it's the, that's, where, that's where we're headed. As a direct result from this money and debt creation, you need more dollars to buy the exact same amount of goods as you did before. When you understand this concept, it does not take too long till you figure out that your wealth is being stolen by a bunch of well-dressed criminals every day. The best way to protect yourself from this thievery is to sell all of your paper assets and buy physical, tangible assets that have no counterparty risk. The wonderful thing about the Silver Bullet and Silver Shield plan is, when you own tangible assets like silver, the more that they print, the higher your assets go. This should, at the very least, protect your purchasing power and at the most create tremendous amount of real wealth. Before Nixon closed the gold window in 1971 and before 1964 when the government took our silver out of our coins, a gallon of gas for about 50 years was about 25 cents a gallon. This was because you were selling essentially one tangible asset, your silver quarter, for another tangible asset, a gallon of gas. Without having a debt-based currency, the measuring stick of the dollar never stretched for more than 50 years. As soon as we got off the silver and gold standard, this freed the bankers and the politicians to create more and more debt and money, and that has destroyed our purchasing power of the dollar. I believe that we are going to see 6 7 8 9 $10 for a gallon of gas, not because of peak oil or some revolution in the Middle East. I believe that this will happen because the money supply, which is a much larger threat to your well-being, is exploding, and that it will destroy every dollar you have ever worked for. From 1920 to 1964, a gallon of gas could be bought for a single 90% silver quarter. In 2010, when gas was about $3 a gallon, guess how much those same 90% silver quarters are worth? You guessed it, about $3. Do you want to know what that 90% silver quarter is worth today? You can go to a site called coinflation.com and right now that same quarter is going for about $6. The reality is that gas is not going up in terms of real money like silver. Here's another example of how to look at it. A gas station in Ashland, Oregon was selling a gallon of gas for 20 cents. But if you look at the sign, it specifically says if paid with pre-1964 dimes, quarters, half, or dollar coins. This is a great way to educate people about how much our currency has been debased. As you all know, the price of gasoline has not gone up as much as our currency has been destroyed by the exponential money printing diluting the value of our money. The obvious result of this inflation is that we need more worth less dollars to buy the exact same amount of goods and services. If you realize that decades before silver was taken out of our money in 1964, after JFK was murdered, an executive order 11110 was thrown out, a gallon of gasoline sold for about 25 cents. The reality is, this is a good deal, historically speaking. I believe that silver is telling us that there is a lot more inflation on the way. Right now, that silver quarter is worth about six dollars, and I believe it'll go much higher than that. In fact, I believe it'll get to the point where you will not be able to exchange dollars for gasoline, because those countries and companies that sell gas will realize that the store value of the dollar is completely worthless and they will not sell their precious resource for something that can be printed out of thin air. When that reality hits the world, only people who have silver will be able to buy gasoline. There will come a time when the dollar's value will decline so much that people will be begging for real silver. Silver has been trashed for decades as an industrial metal and not valued as a price precious metal. This industrial use and supply deficit has destroyed most of the above ground stocks of real physical silver. Now investment demand is starting to pick up to protect against the destruction of paper assets. 
This investment demand alone will send silver's value to the moon, where trillions of paper wealth tries to find its safety into real tangible assets. The final hyperdrive for silver will be when people demand real money as their fiat money dies. This is when the purchasing power of silver will dramatically increase. There will be direct transaction of silver for real goods and services, like this gas station shows. People will no longer fear the government like they do now. People will see that they have been raped by the criminal elite and do anything and everything to survive and not get fooled again.